name's Justin Tillman, and this is my basketball story. I'm the father of Justin Tillman, basketball phenom at Persian High School, no boys this year. Check them out, they're going to win it all. State championship, city championship, and Justin, if he plays on the level what he should be playing, he should get Mr. Basketball on top of that. He's he, he been playing ever since he could barely walk. I remember him uh, jumping off the couch, dunking on his Fisher-Price basketball, you know, Remy had in, in, in Fanny Room. As soon as I was able to walk, had a little playroom, running around, dribbling the ball. He always had a love for the game, and uh, his love for the game and talents have, you know, increasingly grew each year. So I think right now, you know, if, if he's more aggressive and more assertive, he should be able to put up big numbers this year. We don't want to accomplish that Persian. I want to have an undefeated season, win the city championship and state championship. I want to win Mr. Basketball and uh, leave on a good note. If you want to get ranked, there are certain teams you probably want to play for that it gets you ranked uh, in, in the state and possibly gets you ranked in the country. You know, uh, some teams just have talent, some teams that get you ranked. For example, to me, the family is one team that can get you ranked because of the people that are involved with the program, like Vince Baldwin for Nike. He helps players get ranked, and uh, he does a very good job of doing that getting players ranked too, or who may have talent, and then some of those who don't have talent get ranked through him. It was a great experience um, being around a family, uh, people that cared about you on and off the court, and you know, like real, really good kids, you know, stay out of trouble, and just learning from other people, uh, making from mistakes and being a leader. We had uh, four players that played with the AU team early in the season in the spring, left the team, and play for the Hurricanes, and then they had five new players come to the team and play with the team during the summer, which was a better team, and they went on to uh, play in a championship game for the Bates Classic, and they ended up losing that game by one. It was 74-73 to the Dollar Stars. Come look out for me this year. Come check out my games. Uh, come support me, Persian Doughboy. We're going to win city, states, and we miss the basketball. Thank you. I think in general, you know, a lot of times, you know, kids should utilize, you know, the platform of playing sports and most importantly academics to get that free ride to college because that's very important for you even if you don't play basketball after college for you to get that degree and get that free ride to college. Using academics first and then after that I would say athletics. Uh, in my way, dunking on y'all this year. I'm working. Y'all at home eat cereal. I'm out. Somebody, shit. Throw that shit. Get that shit out of here. Shit. Oh. Oh.